Hello, I'm Vicky and in today's video I will be comparing, reviewing and testing top 5 dupes of the infamous Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Now, this thing has been on my wish list for ages and I just couldn't justify spending £39 on the makeup product. Like, this for me is absolutely ridiculous and because of that I got it anyway but as a gift for my birthday because, yeah, I just asked this as a gift. I just can't understand how this thing can be so expensive but this is the reason of this video because today we'll be trying to find a dupe that is as close as possible to this thing which is much more cheaper and kind of the same thing right now i'll try to divide my face in four equal spaces so i can add on my face all of the dupes including the og and we'll compare on a nice close-up and see which one is the best. Before we get into the dupes, we gotta chat about the one and only Flawless Filter. It's a tinted glowy serum-like liquid that leaves your skin with a lid from within glow. Whether you use it as a primer to give your foundation some dewy radiance or you dab it over your cheekbones for a subtle highlight. Pros has a radiant glossy finish with no glitter, comes in 12 shades from deep to fair and some of the cons, a few reviews, felt it was too heavy and clogging for acne prone skin as well as super duper expensive. The Cheryl Tilbury Flawless Filter dupe from e.l.f. broke the internet so hard that it almost always out of stock and it gives a similar glossy sheer finish to your skin as the OG Flawless Filter Pros it seems to blur uneven skin texture from cons often out of stock so you might have to mix a few shades usually irritates for £13 which is not bad at all these products are both cruelty free and reef safe face makeup they have a total of 14 ingredients in common they suited for good dry skin and brightening skin they're both not containing any harsh alcohols, common allergens, parabens or sulfates and they both contain silicones. So a pretty good dupe overall. This is the first one I've tried even before Charlotte Tilbury and I've been using it and loving it every single day. This is actually my favorite from all. Now the next dupe is even cheaper than e.l.f. Halo Glow and it retails at only £7.99. This is Filter Finish from Collection which is available in a variety of shades pros it's affordable price point radiant finish and from the cons it's only available in four shades containing ingredients like trehalose sodium pca glycerin a hyaluronic acid this is a hydrating formula that really delivers on the lid from within radiance it's thinner and therefore sheerer than both flawless filter and halo glow so it works well as a base layer for the foundation the applicator is really similar to the charlotte tilbury one they're pretty much the same size it's just the one of the collection one is slightly longer the collection filter finish is the sheerest so it has less coverage than the other two the next tube is from xx revolution and it's called skin glow tinted skin booster in the shade blaze this retails for 15 pounds containing niacinamide and papaya extract the lightweight formula will add pearl like particles to your face for an extra bronzed look just like the flawless filter but for less than half the price it's also cruelty-free and vegan. Pros. It has a hydrating formula, makeup sits comfortably on top, from the cons only available in five shades. Just like the collection, they just can't master the art of creating a variety of shades for more people. And this is a big minus. The next tube comes from Revlon and it's called Skin Lights Face Glow Illuminator in the shade Sunrise Luster and this retails for £9.99. Seriously, this is such an underrated dupe. It leaves the skin dewy, reflective. From the pros, it blends in evenly with your fingers or a sponge and from the cons, lightest shade may be too dark for fair skin tones, which to be honest, I think it's a problem with the majority of them. The formula boasts refined pearl pigment, similar to flawless filter for even application and the lightweight formula moisturizes without feeling greasy or cakey okay guys let's draw the line which dupe is the best obviously the og one is unbelievable it has so much shade range but the price is just unjustifiable high so for that I'll never buy this guy ever again, even maybe if I'll get it as a gift or so, but otherwise it's nice to use it, but it's way too expensive for your average girl. 
My least favorite is definitely this one, which has a much more heavier formula. And maybe the shade is not necessarily mine because you can see the way I applied it. It's a little bit darker than overall my face. Uh, it's okay. I wouldn't necessarily purchase it again. For the price, I mean, it's fine and it lasts only like six months, which is quite low to be honest. I think you can skip this dupe. This one is pretty good, but to be honest, in my opinion, it's way too sheer. Like, I like it a little bit heavier. I mean, not that heavy, but just like actually to see something because this is very, very sheer and the shade range is really bad. Price point is really good, only like $6.99, which is really affordable. So it definitely enters into the favorites. And of course, my favorite, which is the e.l.f. one. I've been using this one since it came out. I reviewed it already on my channel. You can see it there. Pretty good. The shade range is not that good it price is all right and i tend to reach for this one the most often so i think this for me is the winner even though some people might say that the formula is a little bit heavier than other ones i'd rather this one than the collection to be honest because i think this shade is better for me but this formula is much more nicer on my skin and yeah a little bit pricey pricier than this one but i definitely like this one more as about the Revlon, which is one of those ones that I've tried for the first time today, I think I'll be using it. I'm not sure about the coverage. I mean, it seems to be all right. It's pretty close to the Charlotte Tilbury one. Very nice formula. It leaves the skin like sun glow kissed, which is always what I want to have. Yeah, I mean, I think we have some really good dupes here and I think you can save your coin. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up to subscribe and see you next time. Bye. Oh yeah, do let me know if you've tried any of this and which one is your favorite.